Greetings everyone. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to make a time-lapse movie with iMovie Online. First, you want to open up iMovie. And you want to create a new project. and you want to create a new event. You can call this event time lapse and then you want to import your pictures so you click on events look for your image sequence which I already have it uh, uploaded on iPhoto and all you need to do is just click on your event and just drag it to the timeline you have to make sure that all your files are in the same numbered sequence. Before it was really easy with uh, QuickTime 7 to create your image sequence but with the new Snow Leopard uh, QuickTime does not have this feature available so we'll just wait for all these stills to open and we have them here but what we notice is that if I want to make a time-lapse movie if I do it as it is it's going to be really slow so the first thing you need to do you need to select all your clips in this case open your clip adjustments and you can either decrease the duration and apply it to all stills You can probably do that to just zero point zero one. Apply it to all stills. Make it shorter. But there's a trick, because if you do it here, it's still going to be quite slow. And as you can see there's something else that iMovie is going to be panning through the pictures so you open your editor again go to cropping and can burns and rotation and you click on fit to screen and you hit done I should apply it to all the clips. You just play it again, press space bar, and then now you see movement, but still quite slow. Because you just dropped picture files on the timeline, if you open up your clip adjustments, you won't be able to either speed up or decrease the rate of the video. So how do you fix that? In order to do that, you go to share and you export the movie. 
use case, we can export it to QuickTime. We call it time lapse movie. You can export it to anywhere you want. And in this case, I'm going to export it to my movies folder. And you just hit save. Okay, now that the project has been exported as a movie, what you can do is you go to Edit, Select All, or Command A, and you delete all your stills from your project panel. And then you're going to import your movie so you go to file import movies you go to your movies project You have your time lapse movie, click on it, choose import. In this case, you have it as optimized video, large. Choose import. And there you have it. Here's your movie, and you can play it. So, you select the whole movie, and drag it to your timeline, and then you select it again, and you just click on your Video adjustments. You can change color, saturation, hue, anything you want there. Go to your clip adjustments, and here you're going to find that you're now able to control the speed of the duration of your video. Here you can either slow it down or increase it to your liking. So in this case I increase to 400%. I hit done. Now let's play it again, see how it looks. Looks pretty good and there you have it. There you have your time lapse. Looks pretty good. And then now, go back to share. And you can export it again. If you want to post it on YouTube, you can do it as a quick time movie. Or you go to share, you can choose any different option on how to export it. In this case, you can either export it to HD, and basically, that's the way you can make a time lapse video with iMovie 09. Thanks for watching.